Hello there, this is Sandil. Welcome back to our channel. I am here with a new video on Geography. This lesson has been designed to educate all grade 7 students about Geography. This is the second video in this series of The Planet Earth We Live On. My first video in this series is The Introduction of Earth. You would better watch my first video in this series. To watch that video, grab the above link. The main objective of this lesson here is to study some important facts about the shape of earth and its dimension. First we will be looking at some beliefs that the ancient people had in the shape of earth. Next we will look into three primary reasons to show that earth is spherical. You will learn even new modern technology can be used to describe the shape of earth. Finally you will be able to understand the actual shape of earth after analyzing all the statistical data of the dimension of earth. Then join me in this lesson. Since you are ready, let's get started. Geography Unit 1 The Planet Earth We Live On The Shape of the Earth Lesson 2 Let's look at the objective of the lesson. The main objective of this lesson is to learn about the shape of earth. Now I am going to tell you about some beliefs that the ancient people had in the shape of earth. The early ancient Greeks, Sumerians, Babylonians, Egyptians and Vikings all believed that the earth was a flat disk or plain surrounded by water. This was based on the evidence of what they saw around them. The ancient Chinese believed that the earth was a flat square shape surrounded by heavens that were a round egg shape. This was based on their belief in a heaven that was above the earth. Children, do you think earth has a spherical shape? There are three primary reasons to show that earth is round. The first reason, when you observe a ship sailing over the horizon, the bottom part of the ship disappears. If earth were flat, we would see the whole ship getting smaller as it moved over the horizon and further away. The second reason, you can see the shadow of Earth on the Moon during a lunar eclipse. The shadow of Earth always has a round profile. When you stand at the North Pole, the Polaris is directly overhead. By the time you reach the equator, the Polaris is on the northern horizon and it disappears entirely once you move into the southern hemisphere. Now let's see whether we can use modern technology to show that Earth is spherical. With GPS and other satellites, scientists can measure Earth's size and shape to within a centimeter. Pictures from space also show Earth is round like the Moon. In this part of the lesson, you can learn what the actual shape of Earth is. Do you think it's a full sphere? Let's see. Here, polar diameter is 12,714 kilometers and equatorial diameter is 12,756 kilometers. If it is a full sphere, these two lengths should be equal, but they are different. The length of the equatorial diameter doesn't equal the length of the polar diameter. Therefore, we can come to a clear conclusion. Earth is not a full sphere. Then, what is the actual shape of the Earth? Equatorial diameter is longer than polar diameter. While keeping this point in your mind, let's look at these three diagrams of the shape of Earth. First one, a blade. Assume A is the equatorial diameter and B is the polar diameter. If B is less than A, Earth has an oblate sphere. Second situation, if B equals A, it is a full sphere. Third situation, if B is greater than A, it has a prolate shape. Accordingly, we can come to a brighter conclusion about the actual shape of Earth. Since the equatorial diameter of Earth is longer than the polar diameter of Earth, Earth is an oblate spheroid. Now, let's move on to learn about dimension of Earth. Equatorial diameter is 12,756 kilometers. Polar diameter is 12,714 kilometers. Equatorial circumference 40,077 kilometers. Polar circumference 39,943 kilometers. The surface area of Earth is 510 million square kilometers. 
That's all for the lesson on the shape of earth. I hope you understood the lesson. If you have any question about the lesson, you can find our contact details in the description below. We are willing to help you. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe to our channel for more videos and alarm the notification bell by which you will be notified when a new lesson is released. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye now.